The D-Link Share Center 2-Bay Network Storage Device with USB printer support is the perfect way to store and share your digital documents, music, videos, and photos with anyone on your network. The DNS-325 is expandable up to two SATA drives, giving you plenty of space. Plus, adding drives are easy with D-Link's tool-less design. Let's see what else comes in the box. Product documentation and CD an Ethernet cable to connect your NAS to your network, the first part of your power adapter, and the second part of your power adapter, plus a small cable clip. Looking at the front of the DNS-325, you'll notice the power button, the left and right hard drive LEDs and USB LED, on the back two hard drive eject levers, power, reset button, gigabit ethernet port, USB, and USB copy unmount button. Looking at the front again, let's install our two hard drives. Start by firmly sliding the front cover up to reveal the two hard drive bays. Insert your hard drives, making sure to properly line up the drives. Also, for best performance, use two hard drives with the same capacity. Firmly press the cover back on before sliding down into place. Plug in the power, and let's connect the DNS-325 to our network. Start by removing the plastic film from the faceplate. Connect the other end of the power cable to the back of your NAS. And finally, the ethernet cable from your router or even your power line adapter if you have one to the back of the device. Press the power button on the front and you're ready to begin configuring your new NAS device. Insert the disc labeled Start Here into your computer. The disk will auto start, select the language, and then click install. Agree to the end user agreement to continue. Then confirm your language again and click start. We've already connected our NAS, so move on by clicking next until you're prompted to select your device. If you don't see your device, click on refresh until you see it and then select it. You'll be asked to make sure the power LED on the front of the NAS is blinking. If it is, click yes. The default password is blank. Hit next and you'll be asked to enter a new password. And then click on next again. The simplest method to connect your NAS is using DHCP. We'll be using that, so click next. You can change the name of your device here, but we'll be leaving it as the default for now. DDNS is a great service that allows you to use your NAS remotely, but we'll skip this for now. Select no and click on next again. Set your time zone. Also set the time, either using your computer time, or we'll be using the NTP server. We're not going to be setting up email settings right now, so skip this. As you can see, there's no RAID set up at the moment. Click Next, and your Share Center device will notice two new hard drives. We're going to be using RAID 0. RAID 0 is a Stripe RAID system that will create one large hard drive for maximum performance. Next, we want to assign a mapped drive so we can access this. We'll use drive letter Z and click on Next. You'll be prompted with a message letting you know that it's going to format your hard drives and erase all of your data. As long as you understand this, click OK to move on. Formatting your hard drives can take a little while, so sit back and relax for a few minutes. We're going to jump ahead, but your hard drives have finished formatting when you see Format Successful. Click on Next to continue. You can select Add-on Packages that gives your NAS device additional functions, such as audio streamer, blog, and photo center. We'll skip this for now, so click Next to continue. If you did select any add-on packages, it'll take a few moments to install. After installing is complete, click on Next to continue, and you can enable any of the packages, or you can save it for later. Click on Next to continue. And that's it. Setup is complete. Click on Finish. And you can access your NAS device by going to the drive letter that you selected before. The default is letter Z. And be sure to register your product. Enjoy.